Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. This is our 37th fair, and it all began in 1978 when Polish Town began to de de deteriorate. And so we began to revitalize and renovate Polish Town. And that was our beginning. The first fair we had, I think maybe, uh, oh, I don't know, 40 or something vendors in, in the heart of Polish Town. And it was a rainy day. And, but you know what? The people never stopped coming. And we couldn't believe that everybody kept coming and, and the, uh, we sold all this kibasi and all this kind of thing. Well, we were so amazed that the next day, the plan is all sat down and says, wow, there is a Polish recipe book that is published, um, I'm not quite sure if it's every year or every other year, and the recipes are called from donations from people all over who have a favorite recipe, a family recipe that they wanted to share. And there is a chairman who gathers all the recipes together and puts, sends it to the publisher to be published, and it gets sold um, at these fairs and festivals. All, it's available all year round, but this is our biggest uh, venue for it. My mother and her, her friends lived out here, so we came out here with them, and that's how I started. Got all the food, the Polish culture, the Polish dancing, you get the Polish wedding they have on stage on the first day. It's fun. Two of my great-great-grandfathers uh, helped assemble the St. Isidore's Parish and St. Isidore's Church, and I felt a sense of pride to help honor the family tradition. Every year for the, for the past few years, Polish Civic Center has uh, sponsored a reenactment of a Polish traditional wedding and uh, we dress up in Krakowian style dress wear and we assemble at the church in Saint, at St. Isidore's in Riverhead and uh, we then mar parade down Pulaski Street in front of Pulaski Street School. I was best man in last year's wedding and this year I was, I was a groom. So these are all mouth-blown, hand-painted ornaments made in Poland and designed by my mother, Mira Sława Tag. And um, what they are is my mother designs the, the ornament. She's from Poland. She came here in 1980. And what she does is she goes every June with her designs and she sits down with an artist in Gdańsk, which is famous for traditional ornaments, uh, traditional eggs, and other dolls that are uh, traditionally from the Polish culture. The fish, if you have a fish on your tree, it means good health for the year. Um, a pickle means good luck. A mushroom is also good health. Um, different things signify different things. A heart means you'll find romance, you'll have good love in your family. Um, for example, something that's more traditionally like a Polish um, design would be this one because the intricate, the poinsettia, the different colors. Christmas is huge, but more than Christmas, Christmas Eve. Like, no one really, everyone celebrates the birth of Christ on Christmas, but Christmas Eve is the celebration of life. Uh, fish, like, sit at the table for eight to nine hours eating dinner. We decorate the tree on Christmas Eve rather than right after Thanksgiving. So things like this are, remind me of the culture.